Happy Valentine's Day! Welcome back to my channel. I'm new to my channel. Here I cook all kinds of fun international dishes from all over the world. And I would like to share a surprise with you. Today I woke up to this sweet surprise from my teenage son. I am so excited. I thought I would open this up with you together. My son is a very talented artist and writer. So getting a card from him is definitely a treat. Can you see how beautiful this card is? And it's very thoughtful because he knows that his mom is quite girly so he put lace around the card. I really love that. Let's find out now what is in this beautiful Valentine's box. Very heavy. Is it gold? <gasps> Better than gold. They're kisses. I love kisses. And you know what I'm going to do for him? I'm going to make his gift that keep giving. I'm going to make some Hershey Kisses special cookies that he has never had before. Let's get to work. I have to show up to work soon, so let's get to it. Half cup of brown sugar. Half cup of white sugar. I'm breaking down all the sugar before I put in more ingredients. The next ingredient is all-purpose flour. One and a half cup. One cup and half cup. One and a half together. Mix it in a little bit. Three quarter teaspoon baking soda. Three. And half teaspoon baking powder. And mix well with all the dry ingredients. If it's there are clumps of brown sugar, kind of break it down first before we introduce any wet ingredients. Okay, the next thing we're adding is peanut butter, half cup of creamy peanut butter. Quarter cup first, another quarter cup. I'm using a quarter cup is because that's the cup that fit inside my peanut butter jar. And one egg. Let's mix everything together before we bring in the melted butter or softened butter. Okay, time to bring in the half cup of softened butter. Sometimes I think it's easier to mix everything with a knife or a spoon than the whisk. I'm going to Actually, it's my first time to make these cookies, but I had them before I like them. I have just never bothered to make them, I guess. Okay, after the cookie dough is mixed well like this, it's ready. Not for baking, but um, these cookies work best if you leave it alone for at least 30 minutes in the fridge. For my case, it works out perfect because I'm going to work now. I won't be able to bake them till after work. I guess I will see it after work and when this cookie dough is ready. See ya! Bye! Hi guys, I'm back. This is my lunch break. I have decided to come back to finish up the cookies that I'm going to make for my son. Let's get started now. Hey, I just got this out of the fridge. It's been sitting in the fridge. Look, they're ready. Let's get to it now. Okay, I'm going to use an ice cream scoop to scoop out the cookie dough. Make them into a little ball to make it bigger. I'm just going to bake the cookies in my toaster oven because I don't have time to bake off them. I'm just going to bake enough to put in a little pretty box for his gift. Make sure that the ball sizes are kind of equal so that they will be able to bake evenly. I think the ice cream scoops are a little too big, but it's okay. I probably are going to make six of them. These cookies are ready for the toaster oven. I have been heating up the toaster oven for 375 degrees. It's going to take 10 minutes to bake them. Let's put them in. Good luck. Okay, the timer is on. Okay, the next thing we want to do is to unwrap this Hershey cookie. I mean chocolate. <laughs> I have been putting the chocolate in the fridge so they can be colder and firmer. So once we, the cookies are done, when we stick the Hershey chocolate on top of the cookies, the chocolates are not going to melt. When we see the cookies on the edges are slightly brown, we can take them out. Just leave this here away from the toaster oven. Now we just need to wait for the cookies to get done before we stick all this yummy kisses on top. It's already, we have to hurry, put the kisses on top. And let's cool them off on a cooling rack. 
this cookies are done. Well, originally, I was planning to bake only six cookies, but I gave in because I wanted to try one to see what it tastes like. So here you go. There are 12 of them and it's time to taste. Mmm, these cookies look so beautiful and they smell so good. I can't wait to taste one of them. By the way, I did not forget to roll the dough in sugar. My son doesn't like cookies covered by sugar. That's why I didn't do it. If you like that, you can go ahead and do that. Let's have a taste test. Let me get um, a big one to try. Mmm, it's so good. Inside is very chewy, outside is a little crunchy. It's delicious. It's perfect for Valentine's Day scale. Thank you so much for sharing this special Valentine's Day with me. If you like a video and recipe like this, please like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions regarding this recipe, please check the description box below. Until then, we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Happy Valentine's Day.